Hi, Kat here, and welcome to A Card Cat Made. I wanted to share with you one of my favourite things about Crafty Critters Clear Foil. I'll be using their Hologram Brittle Clear, as well as black toner sheets today. I'm using these because I just wanted to have some extra sparkle to some sentiments that I wanted to use for my Christmas greetings on some cards that I'm finishing off. So what I'm doing is I'm only going to cut down one piece of foil and we're going to see how many sheets we can actually cover with just that one piece of foil. And it was more than what I was expecting because it was more than what I had prepared. <laughs> Now you always put your foil away how it came, or at least in somewhere that it's not going to collect any dust. And I also give everything a bit of a dust off before I use it to make sure that there's no debris, pet hair, anything like that that could get between the foil and your toner, because that's the last thing you want. I also, on my clear foils, always put a little squiggle or something on there just to tell me which side is the right side up, because there's no way of knowing which is the right side and wrong side of a clear foil. Now here I speed it up because I don't want you to have to sit through me doing this at real time, but I also didn't want to edit anything down because I want you to see that I really am using the one piece of foil throughout. So if it looks like I've got super speedy hands, that's because I do. No, <laughs> I'm magical. How beautiful is that? I love it. Now I do actually have an affiliate link with Crafty Critter. I will link that down the bottom. And they also have a 20% discount code going at the moment. So if you would like to use that, that is GIFT20 and you can get 20% off everything except machines. What a fantastic deal. So here I'm just picking out a few different toner sheets. This is my little cheat pack where I should have put stuff back in its original packaging, but I didn't. So I keep it all together in a little pouch where no dust can get to it. And it's my as good as putting it away pile. And it's my always go to when I need to get a toner sheet. I'll always pull it out of there before I go looking through my packets of sealed ones. I can't wait to use that rainbow one. It's so pretty. That's one of my favourite rainbow. That's one of my favourite toner sheets in general, let alone one of my favourite rainbow ones. It's one of my all-time favourites. And here I thought a red would be nice for Christmas, part of the season. Still can't believe how many beautiful cards we're getting. This. You can see I nearly forgot to dust there, but I remembered last minute. Always dust away those bits and pieces. And here I've forgotten, well not forgotten, I've realised that I've needed an extra piece because we're still going. Oh, and that was me just showing you that I've made a little mistake and I haven't quite covered up the all of the toner sheet so I've got a little bit of toner on my transfer sheet but that's not to worry about you just see that there I'll clear that off with some acetate or a little magic eraser and that'll be good as new and I'm just turning my mink off I'm going to leave it there with that because while there is still pattern left on the transfer sheet. I've got six toner sheets and I'm pretty happy with that. So I've got those two beautiful black ones, the two rainbow and a red and a blue. If you'd like to see me try and test this on the same colour throughout, so a piece of black throughout and see how many we can get before I get diminished results, please let me know in the comments. But how fantastic is that? Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Bye.